And I start, and there's always wait a minute of silence. So, I was talking to myself today, and I was like, hey, I'm doing this song a day challenge, which is write a song a day, and I haven't done one music exercise. So I said, I'm going to do a music exercise, and here it is. Uh, it is, write something about... Uh, something that's happened to you within this last year. And so I've heard, instead of me putting on a timer for myself, put on a timer for yourself for uh, one to three minutes and come up with a bunch of different memories and then pick one within, so write them down after the list, after the timer goes off, then pick one of those exercises. My exercise is going to be about... The moment I tried to run up the block, the block, and I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, and it was in that moment that I decided I wanted to start changing my life for health reasons. So. But it, it, it wasn't the change yet. So I think that's a really interesting thing to write about. People usually write about the things they've changed or like the, the down, down swing in their life. I, 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 for me, only hindsight can tell you that this moment that I'm peaking was the tipping point of when the change was about to happen. And I still, I, like, I couldn't see like the change also, I, who knows, like, at that moment, if I really was going to change, if it was, because I've, I've done that before many times, where I said, I'm going to change, and I'm going to do things, and I didn't do them. So, I want to talk about that moment, because I actually haven't reflected too much on that moment, and I think it'd be fun. So, I'm going to give myself a three-minute timer, and write a stream of conscious. Uh, about that moment and here's some uh, questions that you can ask yourself in that uh, three minutes which is where were you uh, why were you there who were you with how you felt what you could see taste hear smell touch and I got this exercise because I'm going to give my credit uh, to this person uh, Emma McCann E M M A M C G A N N. I'm telling you, I went down this YouTube rabbit hole of like songwriting and how to improve your songwriting skills and how to write better songs or faster songs because of my song a day challenge. And I'm, I've been through a lot of stuff, and this so far was one of the most effective tools that I've seen. I haven't tried yet, but it looks so effective that I was like, I'm gonna try. So check her out e-m-m-a-m-c-g-a-n-n -N, right yeah g-a-n-n -N. so uh and she has her own music as well she's doing awesome so i'm going to start the timer now for three minutes
and I'm just going to write about those, those questions and just anything that comes to my mind. What's running up the block? I spelled brook. So out of breath, I couldn't even make it to the corner, to the, to the first corner. And I decided in that moment, decided in that moment, I didn't want to look like that. Moment, I didn't want to look like that. And uh, so I went home, I literally walked inside my apartment and chugged a really big glass of water. Water. Uh, I hated water. Water and thought if I could drink that, I could do pretty much anything. I could do anything. Also, it was like proving to myself that I really did have enough. I really had enough. Um, I was really also, and in that moment, I was pretty down on myself. Uh, so prior to being that out of shape, most of my life I was very active. I went to martial arts like five times, uh, five times a week, like pretty much every day. And I had a very healthy, active lifestyle, not food wise, but definitely activity wise. So to not be able to even run up a block was just really big slap in the face, slap in the face. And uh, uh, I remember feeling after the water actually. Uh, oh, okay, a sense of satisfaction. Satisfaction. Okay, so to recap, I'm writing uh, a memory that I have within the last year, and I'm going to use this to write a song. And so if you're doing songwriting or uh, any kind of writing in general, being reflective with something that you experienced is a great way to start taking the rust off what you're doing if or like if, if you haven't done that for a while and also it 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 uh, stretches those muscles of recalling an event uh, also trying to bring attention to things you might not have brought attention to then with the kind of five cents question uh, what could you see, taste, smell, hear, or touch? And if you can master those things and be aware throughout your day with those five senses, uh, you can start putting that in your writing and it'll enhance it. And instead of just writing pretty like one dimensional, you live in a three dimensional world. So if you, the more senses you can put in, the more description you can put in the more the reader can see clearly what you want them to see. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to start. I'm going to do this for like three more minutes. Three more minutes and I'm going to write a song or write whatever I can within three minutes. A good start to the memory of 
drinking, uh, uh, running off the block and that kind of possible change that I was going to make for my life. So put on a timer right now. So I also encourage you to, to do this as well. And I'm just going to write instead of talk because it slows me down. Feel free to skip ahead three minutes if you don't want to just watch me sit here writing. Okay. Oh, that's good. Um, So I wrote, um, if health was a race, it would, it would be a marathon, not a sprint. I have many hills to climb. And then the next line was, I'm running from my past, but I was living in it and couldn't get past. I dug my feet in. Uh, so I just finished writing a writing exercise prompt, which was to take a memory within the last year that you want to write about, to write about it, and you can ask yourself these questions. Where were you? Why were you there? Who were you with? How you felt? What would you, could you see, taste, hear, smell, touch? And so I wrote about it. I did a three-minute uh, writing about those questions and stream of consciousness. And then I started putting lyrics down. I just read those lyrics. And it's, it's a pretty good start. I also, I like this exercise because of how much we actually put on our, uh, how much we go on autopilot throughout our day. If you ask someone, hey, what did you just do? Uh, yesterday, like, w w what meal did you have? And then you ask them, who was around you? How are you feeling at that time? Uh, what did you hear? What did you smell? 
what did you touch most I would say even for myself that I couldn't answer all those questions clearly and so it kind of begs the question how present was I in those moments I think having all your senses and being aware of what's happening currently in more than just one way and more than just the way we're kind of used to which is probably most dominantly like our hearing or, or our sight or the thing that we are using mainly for whatever that experience is it'd be interesting to change up that routine for yourself and for myself and it will not only enhance your quality of life but also if you're in the art field or creative field or any I, I feel like any field if you're bringing more attention through your senses right even if it's just through your senses you're still bringing more attention to your life than possibly you were previously and that's the whole point of it and i love that this is a, a songwriting exercise and then it can be connected to life i also love that I've read a lot of different ex uh, song writing exercises and they're more like uh, free flow, write what you know, and very kind of wishy-washy things, which some of them are good and that's where you can start and there's n n no downing it, but there's just something about this, this has so much intention to it and I think part of the growth and wanting to make a change is just bringing more intention and attention to what you're doing. So I love that. So I wrote, I'll share it one more time. If health was a race, it would, it wouldn't, it would be a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, we all have many hills to climb. Uh, and then I wrote, I was running from my past, but it was, I was living in it as well. And so I couldn't get past. And there's something weighted there. I said I underlined that, and I'm gonna say write more. So I I think I already found my song for tomorrow, but if not, then maybe I write two songs. We'll see. Maybe two songs tomorrow. What two songs in a day? That sounds fun. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so that's the exercise. Check out the person who I told you to check out, which is Emma Mick McGann. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. E M M A M C G A N N McGann. And see what this does for you. As always, if you have any creative exercises, prompts, uh, any feedback, anything you'd like to share with me, please do. If you'd like to join me, Send me a message and we can do one together. I have a few people who've already said they wanted to join, so it's pretty cool. And final thoughts are, oh, some positive stuff. I'm, just, I'm a lot quicker at giving myself some positive feedback. Uh, I, I wrote another song today, so it's day 14, I believe. I, I wrote the number 14, so I'm assuming it's 14. And I also like it, really cool song. Shared it with one of my friends. And they liked it. Um, and I didn't pay them to say that. You'll never know. But also, I had a good first, uh, second day of school. And more kids came in. We had about 12 kids in total. And our max is 13. So we almost had full attendance. That was pretty great. Um, and the, the class went pretty smoothly. There were a few moments where a student was trying to figure out where, how much they can get away with, but through just talking and not raising anyone's voices and being very clear and being loving, I think, most likely being loving. It was a great day. And the student who normally throughout the school year had some difficulty, didn't have how much of a difficulty today and I'm sensing that it's going to be pretty consistent who knows for sure but that's my gut feeling and it was just because I was constantly making sure how I was give it what I was giving out that was really important for me 
Uh, oh, I journaled today. I did a, a more of my Italian uh, lesson. I'm on day 60-something, four, five, whatever it is, six. Who knows? And I reached out to a friend. That was fun. Uh, oh, my cousin from Italy also reached out to me and said hello, so that was fun. Nice little surprise. And I did another video. I didn't do... <laughs> I didn't do uh, a few videos over the weekend, but I was fine with that. I didn't... I wasn't going to force myself to do this video for if I didn't have anything I really wanted to say. But I just realized I can catch up on those videos with all these musical exercises. So moving forward, I might do more musical exercises because that's what I'm currently working on. Uh, so for myself, I'll definitely do that. And I'll catch up. So it's fine. I missed two days does bother me and that's it I didn't beat myself up for uh, missing the two days and that's a big change and I hope you have a good day bye